and then what we're expecting by about seven, eight o'clock when the actual cold front comes through. But the majority of tomorrow is going to be dry. Uh, that low sort of drags itself across the state in the afternoon. So there'll be a couple very light showers, maybe a snow flurry in the second half of the day. Uh, but generally, most of that moisture is going to be leaving us by about seven o'clock in the morning. So high pressure settles in for Thanksgiving Day and not too shabby for both Thursday and Black Friday. Saturday is another story, and we'll get to that in a second. But let's look at Thursday for your parade forecast. America's Thanksgiving Parade presented by Art Van kicks off 9 a.m. Uh, at downtown, and we are at least our coverage does. 35 is what we're expecting at that time. Sun and clouds around. The wind is going to be at least noticeably breezy here early. So if you're turkey trotting, uh, keep that in mind. But we will see the breezes uh, decrease as we get through the parade. I don't think it's going to be strong enough to really cause a problem to the balloon. So that's going to be good news. And then uh, just down the street at Ford Field, Lions taking on the Bears in the afternoon. And uh, temperatures there starting out in the 30s will be in the low 40s by the time everybody leaves that game and heads home in the afternoon. So let's look at lows tonight, 45. This is likely going to be a midnight temperature, and then those numbers are going to start rising overnight. Uh, so again, don't be surprised to hear a couple rumbles of thunder out there, but we're not anticipating anything severe. 56 tomorrow, and the wind speeds are going to be high. Sustained winds at 15 to 25. Gusts are going to be in the 40 to 45 mile per hour range, especially in the morning, but then possibly again as we get into the afternoon hours from that 3 p.m. to 7 uh, p.m. time frame. And when we see those fast winds, this is how it's going to feel. These are 5 p.m. wind chills. So this time tomorrow night, it is going to feel like it is 28 degrees. That's feeling 20 degrees colder than what we've got out there right now. So it is going to be all 20s for wind chills in the across the area tomorrow evening. And then for the upcoming weekend, Highs will get to 45 on Saturday, but we're going to be spending most of that day wet. Some of us are going to see some snow. It's just a question of where that rain snow line sets 